as you're working on these feathers, they tend to uh, push out on the edges, and so they no longer have the uh, shape that the feather was in when you got done with it. And you can see I've cut off a little bit there, and uh, I've got just about the thickness of the uh, wax left, but then I just press it down, and that takes away that thickness to a reasonable edge. Most of these feathers are going to be laying under another feather like that and it's not going to make a lot of difference. And you're done doing your feathers. See how all this stuff gets drawn out? I'm going to turn it over and use the other side so I can line up the uh, quill as best I can. And then what I do is I just cut around the edge and that takes the uh, stuff that's been spread out because of my uh, actions with the uh, wire tool and it brings it back to the uh, shape of the feather. Now that will keep all the feathers uniform in size, shape, and length. So this is another one of these uh, left side feathers. I've got all of them done. It's the right side that I don't have completely done. You can see the edge is acceptable. The end is a little thick, but that's okay. I'm a bit worn out. I've been doing this off and on all day today. It is now about 9 o'clock. Well, actually, what time is it? Quarter, about a half past 9 right now in the evening. And I'm ready to quit, but I'm going to keep pushing myself trying to get this done because I want to get the dang hairy headdress finished up. I'm not throwing this excess wax away. I'm saving it because this wax is, you know, valuable. You keep all you can. That was the last of those feathers. Okay, now I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut around the pattern of the end of the uh, feather. And on each one, I'm going to put that pattern into the feather. Now I'm going to show you on one feather and then I'm going to speed it up on the others, but I just want to show you what I'm doing. There we go. Now, if I can find my ballpoint pen, there we go. I'm just going to follow along the feather right there, the uh, drawing on both sides. Got to remember to turn it because it's the opposite side. Okay. Now the line, if you can see it, ends there and there. So now the pattern is exactly the same on both sides. And then I take this uh, tool that I got from Sculpture Depot dot net and it's a serrated edged uh, tool I'm taking the wider teeth here and I want to make a different texture because I'm not going to color this feather or if I do I will have a pattern for the uh, patina guy to uh, work from and I'm just going up to the uh, quill line which I haven't put the quill on yet and uh, just changing the texture of this part of the feather so that uh, if it doesn't get uh, colored it will have a different texture on it. I hope you can see that. I'll do this side now. And I'm just sort of playing with the edge right at the quill and then coming back and uh, you don't want to have short lines you want to have them all long and it reflects the uh, dark part of the feather boy that looks good and that's gonna look good in bronze too all right I'm gonna keep doing that and then I'll do the quill you've seen that I won't show you that but this is how you finish up the feather you take 
and cut off the edge that uh, got splayed out a little bit by, you know, the pushing of the uh, wire tool to put the major texture in it and also all the uh, cutting it down and all the other stuff. And it gets it back to the original shape and size. All right, I'm going to continue doing this, and I just wanted to show you that uh, uh, at the end of this day, what I am doing. And it's, it's fun. It's kind of fun to do this. And boy, will it look good on the headdress. Oh, my God. This is gonna, all this detail work is going to make a difference on how well that headdress is going to look. The next challenge is to design the uh, cap for the headdress. And that cap has got to be thick enough to allow 32 feathers on it. If I can't get 32, then I'll get 24. But it'll be, you know, a number that uh, would be sacred to the, uh, the Native Americans. Yep, right there. And then just uh, make sure I get the right end. That's too thin. That's the thicker. Okay. Now see how cool that'll look. All the feather lengths between the dark end of the feather and the bottom of the white area of the feather are all going to be exactly the same height. So all this will be even around there. And I can't show you right now, but with the uh, wrapped ends of the uh, quill all being the same size too, will just add to the quality of the uh, headdress. And hopefully I won't screw it up. I've been known to do that. I am, after all, human. Uh, all right, good night. That's it for sure. <laughs>